The bill would direct a nine-member task force to create the new standards based on the American Birthright curriculum created last year by the Civics Alliance. According to its website, the Alliance is a coalition of organizations and individuals dedicated to improving America's civics education. The Alliance says the curriculum aims to stop social studies classes from becoming recruitment tools for the progressive left. The bill's opponents call it an attempt by conservatives to force their rhetoric into classrooms. Well, this certainly appears to be an attempt by the right wing to um, insert a very political right wing agenda into our social studies standards. Bill sponsor Representative Don Jones says HB 103 isn't intended to take any swings at educators working today. This is not a slap in the face to anyone who is a, a teacher of, of, of American government, uh, U.S. history, American history, you know, Ohio history, whatever. I am not knocking any of the work that, that teachers are doing in the classroom. Here in Athens, Superintendent Tom Gibbs says his social studies teachers do a great job in the classroom. He says he's concerned about the proposed curriculum changes in the bill. Just blanket accepting a set of standards that was not created by uh, all professional educators, that has not been vetted by any professional organization, that is not endorsed by any professional educational organization, um, is concerning for a lot of reasons. House Democrats have already drafted a counter bill, House Bill 171, which aims to ensure the discussion of different communities and their role in U.S. history.